Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm the Clumsy Simmer and this is episode 3 of my Newcrest series. Um, if you are not aware of my Newcrest series, this is a full build of Newcrest using only the base game. So if you're interested in seeing future episodes of this, then definitely subscribe to my channel and make sure the notification bell is rung so that you don't end up missing an episode. And there are two other episodes of this series. So if you enjoy this video and you're sticking around to see the future videos, then definitely go check out those other ones as well. Um, they're the other two houses that are kind of to the side of this house. I'm kind of trying to go in order um, I probably won't do that in the long run, but that's just kind of how it worked out right now. Um, I might end up kind of moving to a bigger house next. I'm not sure. There is a lot across the street from this lot, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to put there yet. I think I'm going to do a house there, and then the lot that's behind this house, I think I'm going to put a park there. So we will see. Um, that is not like 100% yet, but we will see. But let's go ahead and get into this house. So this house is actually four bedrooms and one bathroom. And so a pretty decent sized family can live here. Um, you can have two parents and up to three children. Um, and if you wanted to add on to like more rooms, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to kind of make this house a little bit bigger and you could also add a second story on as well like um, if you wanted to make this house a little bit bigger but there's already quite a bit of bedrooms for it being just a one story um, and I don't do one story homes very often unless it's like a starter home and so I had some fun making this house and it's on like a different type of lot than I normally do I usually avoid this lot um, I don't think I've ever actually built on this lot because when you go to save it to the gallery, it um, it's the side of the house, which I guess is supposed to be the front. But in my mind, since the other two houses are facing forward, this house should be facing forward, right? But then you look onto the other street and those houses are facing forward. So maybe that's why that house was kind of to the side. I don't know, but I wanted it to blend in with the houses that I'm creating, and so I made it face the same way that the other houses did. Um, and all of this landscaping, by the way, is debug. Um, at least most of it. I think I delete, like, at least the bushes and I think the trees. I'm not 100% sure. It's It's been a little while since I've built this house. <laughs> um, I think it's been a couple weeks since I built this house. And I just never got around to doing a voiceover for it. I wasn't too happy with the way it turned out at first. And so I kind of just sat on it for a while, trying to decide if I wanted it to stay as part of my new crest series like my whole save file um but actually it's kind of grown on me and i do like the way it looks i think it really matches with the houses next to it without it looking exactly the same and it also ends up having a pool and then i was able to fit two cars right there and that was kind of fun <laughs> um so each of the parents you know it looks like they have their own car of course they can't actually drive the cars they are just you know from debug but you know the look of cars there kind of fills up the space and it makes it look realistic and i really enjoy that so that's something i do quite often is pull out some cars for my houses and yeah um I just love the way that it looks and this right here so I ended up for the pathway I wanted to have it curved right there but for some reason at some point in this build it ends up messing up I think I like moved the lot or something and it went back to like the triangle or like the corner piece and I just loved it like that I was tired of messing with it and I don't know um, it wasn't you know something that I loved so much I had to keep messing with it <laughs> um, so I just left it be and um, yeah so like I was saying there's four bedrooms and one bathroom here and the sims that I decorated the house for to live here and I actually built the family for this house is already 
as well. And I did record myself building that family, but I just don't know if I'm going to, you know, do a voiceover for it or not. I'm not sure. Is that something that you guys are interested in seeing for this? series or are you here just strictly for the houses <laughs> um definitely let me know down below in the comments because if you guys are here for just the houses i don't really want to waste time doing the families as well um i know i do have quite a few you know i have some views on the families as well it's kind of neck and neck between the houses and the families, so maybe i'll keep doing both but um, yeah, I just don't know if I'm going to share this family for this house or not, but I can go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about them. So I ended up doing a two parents, um, and then they have an oldest child, which is a little boy and they have a little toddler girl and they have a little infant, which is a boy. And since it's been so long <laughs> since I've made this house and it's been so long since I've made the family as well, I, I, I don't remember <laughs> anything about them to be honest so I guess we're going to kind of find out together as we're watching this speed build um once I see me decorate the inside I it'll start coming back to me <laughs> you know and so I do know that the parents bedroom is where that garage is and so it's kind of it's just a fake garage it always is just a fake garage you know it's it's just for looks um, I love the way that a garage looks on the outside of the house. It just adds like an extra detail to the outside of the house that I really enjoy. And that's probably because it, I like realistic, you know, houses and stuff in the Sims. You guys know that about me, you know, the people that have stuck around. Um, I say that all the time. I do like realistic looking things in the Sims. Um, something that I would have in real life or see in real life you know and garages is definitely a big thing that people tend to have in real life um i i there's all types of houses that have garages i'm sure you guys see them all the time too it's it's definitely not some it's not uh unique you know it's not something that you don't see every day <laughs> it's definitely something you see every day but i was able to fit a pool in this house and i i was happy about that i i think the house across the street will probably have a pool too because i hate having just like one house in a neighborhood have a pool i don't think that makes sense but i also hate having every single house in the neighborhood have a pool i like a fine mix between like the houses in one neighborhood like one like neighborhood of a certain world you know what i mean like a certain neighborhood of newcrest this neighborhood right here that we're working on um definitely is the lower end house and so it makes sense not to have many house or yeah it makes sense not to have many houses have pools in this neighborhood since it is kind of a lower end neighborhood you you know what i mean and the higher end neighborhoods tend to have pools more often that's just how it is in real life um pools are kind of pricey to upkeep you know um but that is definitely something i want if i ever do move out of the house that i'm in right now i don't have a pool right now um so if i do move i am definitely going to be looking for a house with a pool um i think the extra price is definitely worth it in my opinion because i love to swim and i live in florida and so we'd be using that pool almost year round besides like for a couple months out of the year, you know? Um, and this backyard actually is one of my favorite backyards that I have done. Um, it's, it's kind of like a side backyard, like which what I was saying earlier, I don't normally do that often. And so it was fun doing something different. And I also like, like how I made use of the terrain paint that have those little pebbles the little rocks and the flooring that I decided to use on the outside that have like the little pavements with those little rocks in between it um I did something I don't ever do and that is using that little pebble terrain paint with this like pavement flooring and you know I think it turned out really good and really realistic because you know if you have pavements with those little rocks in between them unless there's a little like side bar um like side pavement you know keeping the pebbles in you're going to have those pebbles kind of leaking out into the grass and stuff and that's kind of the look it's giving 
this house, you know, and I really enjoyed that. And these monkey bars, by the way, I had to move this area a little bit when I was play testing, but it does work. Um, I that's important for me to try and remember to play test every house. I don't always remember to play test every house, but a lot of the time I try to remember because you know there's nothing worse than downloading a house off the gallery and it not being playable you know I know like mistakes happen and things are missed as you're play testing that's just how it is you know when you have a big house you try to play test everything but you know if you're not actually playing in the house for an extended amount of time there's going to be something that pops up you know that's like oh dang I wish I would have caught that but I didn't so, you know, um, for the most part, though, I do force myself to try and play test. And when I play test and I come across something that doesn't work, then I will rearrange it until it works. <laughs> um, I'm very hard headed when it comes to that. If I have something I want to do uh, with the house and stuff and it's not playable, I'm going to keep messing around with it until I can get it playable. Um, I'm just hard-headed. <laughs> My whole family's hard-headed, so I guess that's where I get it from. But um, maybe that's a Florida thing, because I feel like everyone in Florida is hard-headed. Um, or is it just an American thing? I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me. Is everyone you know hard-headed, and are you hard-headed? Or is it literally just my family? Um, but anyways, this kitchen, I actually did um, the dining room in with the kitchen. And I don't do that often. Oh, by the way, before I forget, this bathroom is playable. Uh, surprisingly, I was expecting it not to be playable with the shower kind of on that wall that's slanted like that, but it is 100% playable. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And this kitchen, I love this kitchen. I ended up using that tile wallpaper that had like those like sunny flowers or whatever that is on there. And I thought it was just a really bright and happy kitchen and the shape of the kitchen was really interesting and the fact that I was able to fit a whole dining set in that kitchen was awesome. And I feel like that's very realistic too because a lot of houses I see in real life don't necessarily have like a separate dining room. You know, they have the dining set kind of in the kitchen or it's a room just off of the kitchen that doesn't, it's like an open floor plan type of layout and it has like a separate little area that's specifically for a dining set and I also since I don't think I yeah the high chair is in there there is an infant in the house also a toddler but toddlers let's be real we don't put our toddlers and high chairs in the sims they just don't work out that way <laughs> the parents are like too busy trying to like let the kid out before you actually give the kid some food and it's way better with the infants like the high chairs are actually usable now ever since they put the infants in the game um i love the infant life stage i wish that they would add another life stage but that's just me being greedy <laughs> and wanting like more stuff in the game but they just did the infant life stage so well you could tell that they were working a long time on it you know and i wish that they would do another life stage the only other life stage that I can really think about them being able to do is like a preteen life stage. And other than that, I think all the life stages are covered unless they redo like the actual newborns. But I mean, they're only like a newborn for like two days in the game when you have it on normal lifespan. So there's really no point. <laughs> and like you guys just seen, I actually took some time to raise up those like garden lights to put on top of every single like peg in the fence and I I love the way that looks and it really lights up the house really good and the house you know looks really good and by the way that's what it looks like on the gallery um that's what I meant by the side of the house you know being the front view on the gallery and that's why I don't build in this lot very often but now that I'm like, I started my YouTube channel and I'm doing these speed builds, I might start building on these sideway houses more often because I can actually show you guys what the house looks like before you download it on the gallery, you know, with that front, you know, picture on the gallery being so just the side view and the side views never look good, uh, to be totally honest. Um, 
they don't get much, you know, like downloads and attention because of that first picture. The first pictures are very important, just like thumbnails and YouTube are very important. The gallery pictures are very important because it's just the first thing that someone sees, you know? And when you're scrolling through the gallery, there's so many creations out there, you know what I mean? So if the first front picture is not pretty, <laughs> then people are just gonna scroll past it. That's just the nature of how it is. That's probably what I would do as well. Um, and so here is the infant's room. There's really, honestly, nothing too special about the infant's room. Um, it's honestly kind of bland compared to the rooms that I normally do. I just, I don't know, I just got kind of bored with it. <laughs> um, I put the necessities in there and put like, you know, the crib in there and made the colors all cute and matchy and there's really not much you can put in an infant's room I feel like anyways because I do end up putting like I think I put a little plaything in the living room maybe not I might just put that little basket right there that's not playable um, that's something I really like to do in my family builds um, I like to make it look like kids actually live there and so the living room is not always a hundred percent spotless because you would never find someone's real house, you know, to be 100% spotless when they have young kids. It's, you know, you're so busy running around after the young kids. I'm sure it's so hard to keep a 100% clean house. I mean, to be totally honest, it's kind of hard to keep a 100% clean house when you don't have kids, you know? So, I mean, at least when you have pets. <laughs> um, when I lived into in my one bedroom apartment up in Tennessee, um, yeah, if you guys don't know that about me, I lived in Tennessee for a while. Originally from Florida, moved to Nashville, Tennessee, lived there for a while for work for like two years. And then, you know, missed family, blah, 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 came back to Florida. And um, so I lived up there for a little bit, had my first apartment and it was so easy to keep clean. All I had was two cats at the time and it was so easy to keep clean. It was awesome. And then I got a dog and I had to go move and rent a house. <laughs> um, and then I ended up moving back to Florida. So yeah, that was fun for a few years having my own like just apartment. And then I upgraded to a house and don't get me wrong, having my own house is great too. I mean, I don't own it, I just rent it. But, um, you know, more rooms. It's a three bedroom house, two bathrooms. So there's definitely a lot more room than an apartment, but I kind of miss like the apartment living. Like I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was fun and different and um, something I'm definitely not gonna be able to do for a long time because I have, you know, two cats in addition to three boxers and there's no way I'd be able to live in an apartment, <laughs> especially if it's on like a third story, which is how my apartment was when I lived in Tennessee, it was on the third story. There's no way, you know, I had my puppy there for like, like three months, I think, before our lease was up and we moved and it was so hard you know taking her outside every probably like once an hour if not once every other hour um she'd have to you know be by herself all day while i was at work and that was sad but you've got to do what you got to do to provide for your family you know you can't feed your animals if you don't go to work so uh yeah um as you guys could see, I was too busy talking <laughs> about like my personal life, but I did end up doing the child's bedroom. And I think I did the toddlers too. I did the toddlers and the child's bedroom while I was talking. And I think both of their bedrooms turned out really cute. I really loved the toddler's bedroom, by the way. And now this is the parent's bedroom. Really nothing too special, um, just like a little green bedroom. I did end up putting their own TV in their bedroom, uh, really for no reason. Uh, I just needed to fill up that extra space right there. And I was running out of like wall decor and stuff, you know, since this is only the base game, you only have so many things to choose from. So I really wanted to continue making everything so unique only using the base game and so I ended up just putting a TV there instead and it's always nice having a TV in your room anyways especially I'm sure if you have kids you need some alone time the kids are in bed you know you and your spouse is in bed relaxing and you just don't want to go in the living room to watch TV you just want one in your bedroom you know so 
yeah um we are pretty much nearing the end but i did end up pulling out some of these little gnomes and i'm just placing them around the lot um no reason really i just thought they this house needed some like decor outside and i pulled out some flamingos which is something i never do and these gnomes and that's something i really never do either maybe sometimes once in a blue moon and um i almost forgot to do that side like little garage i have like the shed right there i almost forgot to do that but here i am doing it but we are actually nearing the screenshot so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, just like I said in the beginning, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And of course, like this video as well so I know to continue making videos just like this. And on that note, I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and a wonderful week as well. It is only Monday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness of all